Hello YouTube, my name is William Banda for 3D Jans Animation Studio. Firstly, I would like to point out that English isn't my first language, so forgive me if I swallow one or two words here and there. And anyway, I'll try my best. I'm doing this tutorial because most of my friends have been asking how, how I managed to make the character's teeth follow the jaw opening, or, or let me say mouth opening of my character. Well, it's easy as one, two, three, so let's get into it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you, you already know how to create your morph targets, or let me say uh, blend shapes, as other people call them. Uh, I already have my blend, se uh, the, the blend shape set up. I have the jaw opening. I have the eye blinks and I have almost 46 blend shapes for this character. But uh, our, main, our main focus here is the jaw opening. Because we want when she open her, op opens up her mouth, the teeth will go down with, uh, with, a, with a blend shape, with the jaw opening. So now let's import our lower teeth. Go to import. Go to where you saved your your teeth. Uh, in my case, I have it in the assets folder here. FBX import. Add here we go. Here's my teeth. Yeah, my set of teeth here. Okay. So now Let's just bring them back into position. The first thing we'll do is uh, let me isolate the teeth first, and I want to make sure that the pivot point is just by the edge here, not in the mid where it is. I want it to be by the edge here, so that when I rotate it, it rotates uh, uh, from from the around the edge here, not around the center. So let me just undo that rotation move I made. I'm going to go to hierarchy here. I'm going to move the pivot point by clicking on affect pivot only there and I'm going to pick my move tool and let me move my pivot uh, right about there okay so now you see okay let me let me deactivate that yeah now you see when I rotate that uh, my, my set of teeth it rotates from around the pivot point here which is what we want. Okay, so now we're going to right click on our character here and let's say it was written wire parameters. Let's click on there, wire parameters. And we have to look for the morpher modifier which is going to be found in the modified object category Modified object, modified object, uh, modified object. Yeah, there's our morpher now. So when we click on the morpher there, we're going to notice all these blend shapes, uh, which I already created. And uh, we, we, the, 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 the one we're looking for is the jaw opening, which is there on the top here. So when I click on jaw opening, boom, there's this line that comes across with a cross uh, in front, see? So what it's saying, it wants me to select uh, whatever object the jaw opening is going to affect. In our case, it will be the, the teeth. Let me just zoom in and press F3 for wireframe mode. Uh, let me look for the, the lower teeth. Yeah, this is the mesh, the wireframe for the, for the lower teeth. So when I click on it, the dialog for the wire parameters is going to pop up. And uh, all I have to do now is connect the jaw opening to the uh, X, X rotation of the teeth. So now there's jaw opening there. Now let's look for our teeth on this side. Misozi teeth, yeah. So now let's look for the rotation. Yeah, rotation here, Eula. Uh huh. Rotation, yeah, there. X rotation. We want the jaw opening to affect the X rotation, so that when we reach 100% of this jaw opening, this one uh, goes down. The, the teeth go down. Okay. 
so we are going to connect one way connection here by pressing this arrow key which is pointing to the right uh, click on it then connect is going to be active let's click on connect boom it's connected so now let's see what we have here I'm going to press a3 again to exit that wireframe mode so now let's go to our MoFa jaw opening wow the mouth is opening but check how many times the how many times the the teeth the teeth the other the teeth are rotating more than more than they should as you can see there oh that's not normal so now what we're going to do is to find a value we are going to divide the jaw opening uh, with a, a value that will be most more appropriate than it is now look at that it's going round and round and round and round so when it's, by the time this mouth which is uh, is hundred percent value here I don't know how many times this uh, that how many times the teeth are rotating we do not want that so now here's our expression here for the jaw opening uh, at the end there we let's let's try and divide it by a value like maybe 150 and see what happens 150 yeah type in 150 there then let's update now let's let's try and open the the, the, the jaw again oh it's better you see yeah more like it But still the teeth are going out of the out of the chin there. Let's find another value like let's say 200. Let's go to update. Boom. So now when we open the jaw, okay. It's better, eh? But anyway, we want the lower teeth at least to show, because that's what happens in most cases when you open your mouth wide. Your, your lower teeth will show and your upper teeth will show also but in this case the lower teeth are not showing let's find a value like uh, a value like 220 I think 220 should do when we update uh, okay jaw opening we are almost there let's say 260 260 update jaw open wow we almost there let's say 280 we update let's go wow i think i'm loving this yeah i'm loving this look at that <laughs> okay maybe just by 20 let's say 300 let's update okay this is perfect that's it I think we're done with this tutorial